I can waste your time talking about why iPhone footage looks like this when you drag it into DaVinci Resolve, but I'm going to skip past that and get you on your way. This is what your iPhone footage looks like when you drag it into a DaVinci Resolve timeline, and this is what we're going to get your iFootage looking like in two easy steps. Bottom right, project settings, color management. My color science is set to DaVinci YRGB. If it's set to DaVinci YRGB color managed, change it to DaVinci YRGB. I'm not going to explain why. Your timeline color space should be Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4, and your output color space is same as timeline. Step 1 complete. In the color tab, drag a color space transform into the first node, and under color space transform, your input color space should be Rec. 2100. Your input gammas, Gamma 2.4, output color space, Rec. 709, and your output gammas, Gamma 2.4. This is with the color space transform node activated, this is without, once again, with, without. We can full stop here and get you on your way, or we could take it a step further, add one more node and do a quick curves adjustment because the iPhone, in my opinion, shoots a little overexposed. Under custom curves, figure out where most of your upper information is, select a point on that curve where most of your highlight information is, and just simply drag it down until the image looks like it was shot from a normal camera. This is without the curves adjustment, this is with, once again this is without, and this is with. If you have any further questions about how to transform your iPhone HDR footage into SDR, please drop them down in the comments below, and you're welcome.